as a potential title holder for the last year or so. But it is an all-Dutch clash. 85. As we have our eighth all-Dutch players championship final in the PDC's history. Four of those were won by Michael van Gerwen. Two of them were won by Jelle Klaassen. And one by Benito van der Pass. So who is going to add their name 16. to that list, Mark Webster? Yeah, it's a fascinating final, isn't it? You'd have to make Dirk van Dijvenbode the favourite. Being tipped up by many to win a ranking title this year. 41. Particularly our co-commentator Dan Dawson. But will he feel the pressure? His first final, and he's a favourite. And 55. Can he cope with the expectancy? Dirk van Dijvenbode. He's pretty much sealed his spot in the world match play, which is the next major ranking event. But Clearmacher can make his claim a win here, and he jumps in to the last spot at the expense of Darius Labanowskis. 134. Yeah, this one is not going to take long. It is best of 15, but it may take less time if it goes 15 legs than some other games, which are only six legs. These guys do not hang around. And there's not many games where Dirk van Dijven border is the shorter of the two. I assure you of that. He is a bit of a unit. 72 for Kleermacher if he returns. Now, this single is not easy. Proven that by that miss at two singles in the first leg of this final. We've seen Dirk with one of the most careless misses ever. In a world 52. championship against Raymond Barnabel, but he couldn't shuffle along and he burst 180. But he gets another go. This for an opening leg settler. And Game it is shot. an opening leg settler for Van Dijvenbode. One leg to nail a hold of throw. Well, Mark, I've got to ask you the question because I think it's relevant. Have you ever played Dirk Van Dijvenbode? I've played him a, couple, uh, a few occasions. Yeah, I think four. I think we're pretty even. I think one of my sort of final 96. hurrahs in PDC darts was my last great well great run to the last 16 I beat Dirk in the first round but he's a completely what different man. animal now and uh, it's good to see I like the lad he's a, he's a good lad and he's he's had to survive you know, a lot of setbacks really he's been on the tour off the tour back off it got his tour card back and now he's heading towards the top 16 I have to agree if 16. he wins this title he could then have the license to play with freedom. I've played Dirk myself a couple of times, and the one thing I took away from those games was 100. you know when Dirk is around you because he has just got a presence, the stride away from the dartboard. It's almost seismic. 43. Well, Dirk 95. is making a bit of a move at the start of this match. Survived the first leg. 58. Definitely has settled better in this final than Martin. Yeah, he's not hanging around, is he, Dirk? And this is for a two-leg lead. No score. Oh, that puts pay to that, but he will be back. Just over-pitching into the double 11, but Clearmaker is not in striking distance. You notice there, Mark, he 16. gave it the old Inspector Clouseau when he hit that double 11. Raised the eyebrow like Dwayne Johnson. Well, he's not going to take 70 points 30. in six darts. He's been allowed to take it in either seven, eight or nine. 140. Uh, so, Clearmaker will regret that he hasn't put in a better leg. You get a chance to break in a final in 18 darts and you don't get a dart and a double. You're kicking yourself, but he may get a chance to break in. Yeah, and Dirk, I don't overly think he fancies this. Game oh, good dart from Dirk Van Diamond Bowie. He didn't look thrilled with the angle, but look how far over to the right he was and look how it meant to him. Important. Doubles 16. his lead, consolidates the break and all the early running has been made by the old genius Dirk Van Diamond Bowie. Yeah, that has to be emphasised, Mark, because that dart was technically 99. perfect. The beautiful camera angle as he was throwing towards the camera, it looked like, 
It was a full extension Imagine thrown on. from almost eight feet away. An absolutely brilliant dart. And you have to say, he might not have delivered a better dart all day long. 134. You, you get the impression Dirk's in a rush to get this job done. Clear Macker was resilient against Dirk on diving board, uh, against Brendan Dole, I should say. He's going to have to be more resilient here because he held on against Brendan Dole and well, he got broken the first leg here. 128. Well, after that early double nine, Dirk has turned up the heat a little bit. There have been a few microscopic 93. setbacks since then, but for the first time in a little while, he has got a bit of pressure on him on a finish. Well, 18's route to try and leave double 16 the Rob Crossway. 100. But he has done what he needed to do if he wasn't going to take it. Treble 19 for double 16. And that's a settler for Martin Clearmark. A first leg of the final for him. Is that the sign that he is starting to find his form all of a sudden? Big finish. And just to let Dirk know that he ain't going to be a pushover. 100. Clearmark knew that that was a big shot. Dirk waiting on tops. Clearmacker had to get that 109 and it's kicked him into action. There's Max for Martine settling in this final now. The middle portion of this game could deliver 98. something from a different planet. We saw on day one that Jose de Souza was able to deliver 100. a brace or a spell of legs of which we can only dream about sometimes there was a three leg blitz in there of 32 darts 11 11 10. i wouldn't be surprised if we got something similar to that from one of these players 140. the pace it would be done at as well go past you in a blink of an eye but credit clear Macker. he's going to level this match up there uh, that's away with one 44. And this is a checkout that Martin took out earlier in his campaign against Michael Smith. 61. He got it on double 12, but he hasn't got it this time. But the luxury of another visit is something that he might not get too much in this final. So he's got to be sharp. 180. There is the pressure. Double 10. Game and shot. look at that. Four darts delivered in what was probably three and a half seconds. Yeah. A bit too quick for our spotter there. Clearmacker making it two legs apiece. Um, you touched on it, Paul. I like the emotion he showed when he won that semi-final. Shows what it means to these players. Martin Clearmacker has played some big games in the past, but this is the biggest of the lot. 140. Has won titles, like I mentioned in the semi-final. But this is a whole 60. different beast. It's not just the title, it's what it represents as well. It represents his future. A PDC yeah. title gives you that platform, Paul. You've won many a PDC title and the knock-on effect. You see yourself in major events. Boost you. You, you became one of the top seeds. And whilst Martin Klimak is still a, a bit away from that, 59. he's on his way. And just that confidence. I think you made a, a final and won one in the same weekend in Crawley. And from there, you had the great, best spell of your career. And who knows what this may do for Martin Klimaker. Absolutely. Your first win can spell... A good few seasons. Now, when I won my first PDC ranking event in 2009, that was what got 60. me in the World Grand Prix. That is what got me in the Players' Championships finals, which I eventually won. So that was the thing that got me in the mould. Double 16 for 82. Dirk on an unconventional 98 checkout, but it's his turn to get the extra visit. Yeah, credit to both players here. They've had setbacks, they've been broke, and they've regrouped straight after. And Dirk's showing it here. Game shot. Dirk with his first setback of the match, regroups the next leg, and he has the break back. Mentioned it was the eighth Old Dutch Players' Championship final. Well, the first 96. one was back in 2007, and that was Jelle Klaassen's first PDC title in Killarney. That was 14 years ago. We've had MVG versus Van der Voort in 2009. We've had Klassen versus Van Barneveld in 2015. We've had 
MVG versus Van der Pass a couple of times. We've had MVG versus Kist, who we've seen the last three days here in Niedenhausen. And the last one was MVG versus Watamina. 91. I remember the Michael V. Vincent one was in Taunton. I'd been beaten, but I hung around to watch the rest of the day. And some 140. Game. He has always had a great crop of players. And it's good to see two new Dutch face in a final. One hundred. say a final. We've seen Dirk in a major final, but in these ranking finals, remember that run to the Grand Prix final. In a strange way, this is probably more important, Paul, because it cements 54. him in all the other events. The run to the Grand Prix final at the time didn't affect the Pro Tour order of merit. One hundred and twenty-five. Oh, that's the second one forty-five he's missed on tops in the last couple of matches. Is it going to cost him? It Game does on shot. this occasion because Van Dijvenvoort has opened the gap to two now. And in this all Dutch final, we might be seeing something similar to what 100. we saw at the beginning of MVG's career because his first PDC title came against a Dutchman. Is Dirk or Martijn for that matter because it's only 4-2 in a quest to eight. Are they going to do the same 80. as one of the greatest players of all time? Don't write clear Makarov. 85. Let's follow the pattern. Two legs to Dirk, two legs to Martin, two more to Dirk. It's 4 2. The turnaround to Dirk from Divenboard is remarkable. Lost his tour card, as we said, got it back and ran to the Grand Prix final. 58. And the players he beat en route. Mensor Sulevic. Then it was Dimitri Vandenberg, Gary Anderson, Simon Whitlock. And that was a Simon Whitlock in inspired form and he just ran out of steam in his Gedwin Price. You have to look previously in 2020 as well as to what he did. Getting to the World Grand Prix was an achievement for Dirk van Dijvenborde because his floor form had improved after getting his card back. And now we expect from him all the time. We are looking at him in the world rankings now and expecting him to reach the top 16 by the end of the year. And that would be some achievement to 94. do that in the space of 104 weeks. Yeah. Clear Macker looking to respond. But yeah, it's been some rise for Dirk van Dijven Boulder. Impressive 92. World Championship as well. Rallied from two sets down against Bradley Brooks. Beat Rob Cross in our last leg decider. Game shot. Dismantled Adam Hunt. Beat Glenn Durrett and finally ran out of steam is Gary Anderson. But he's still got work to do here. Martin Kleermacher hanging on to the coattails. Dirk van Dijvenbode gets within one, but it's still the break of throw advantage to Dirk. You see the averages there. Slightly better for Dirk. But those averages, I assure you, mean absolutely nothing. They don't get you any extra points. 140. And averages are so far from the minds of these players right now. But I think there's a very valid point to be made here, Mark. This is a really good mid-season performance for Clearmacker. But this is valuable ranking money considering where 60. he is in the world right now. He's currently 60th. And he has to be in the top 64 by the end of this year. We expect him to be part of that top 64. 96. But there are no guarantees. This helps him keep his card for next year. Yeah. Well, to be fair, it's, it's a little bit of a, not a false ranking. He should be a few more spots higher. He would have collected a bit of money at the Worlds. He's he's in profit, Paul, isn't he? Every penny he picks up this year. He's in the second year of his tour card. So 134. Clear Mac, I'm, I'm pretty certain, won't be involved in any sort of scrap and will creep up the rankings. I sincerely hope he's not, 95. because he is one of the best additions to the PDC circuit I have seen in years. Double 16, and Dirk van Dijvenborde now looks at double 8, Game and shot. that section of the board has been more fruitful, or, well, is an aubergine a fruit or a vegetable? Well, we'll get on to that in a second. It was fruitful, 83. and it is 5-3. Yeah, he's on his way, and I'm pretty certain it's a vegetable, Paul. But um, <laughs> <laughs> he's well on his way here, Dirk, and... Whilst I've been impressed with Martin, he's just looked more settled and composed, Dirk. 97. But Clearmacker will know he's only one breaker throw down. 
and he gets that break back. Curtis is winning the bullseye. He then becomes favourite, but is Dirk going to achieve what many thought he would this year and win a ranking title? 140. The winner of this game will become the 85th 97. different winner of a PDC ranking event. 85. And if you can name the other 84, Mark, you may be the best of them all. 94. Uh, I'm going to pass. Well, you I'm are bit, part I'm, of that 85. I'm too, Paul. Myself and yourself. And I'll, stop there. <laughs> I'll give you that. What's your most obscure one? Felix McBrady. I knew you were going to take my answer. <laughs> 42. That's always the most obscure one. The cat. Felix McBrady. 96. Credit to Clearmacker again. Put himself in a position. Dirk has a chance, but knows that his opponent's waiting in the background. Big shot. One that would have been one foot towards the title. That would have been a double break. Pivotal moment in the match. Double ten for Martin is there shot. and just hangs on once again. A little bit of a scare after that 128 shaved the wire for Dirk. But this has been an excellent final so far. Nine legs into a possible 15. And I, for one, wanted to go the distance. 57. And Ivan Boulder knows that there probably will become a chance for Martin on his throw. So he's just got to keep his composure. 140. Wins today for Van Dyven Border over Dave Evans, Jelle Klaassen, Jeff Smith, Christoph Ratajski, Scott Mitchell and Andy Bolton. 86. So he's worked his way around the globe for, with players from different countries. 94. And he's had to go home to the Netherlands to find an opponent. And I think at this point, Dirk's doing a very mature thing. It's easy in these fast matches to become a little bit of the mind that you're not breathing properly. You could be holding your breath all the time. Sometimes you just 99. need to take a moment. But he's edging closer. Can he hold himself together? 125. He started the favourite, and with that comes expectancy, and we expect a lot from Dirk these days. Is he about to get a two-leg buffer? Awkward. And there we see, can't see a great deal. 40. And is this the opportunity for Martijn? Well, he knows where the 45 is because he hit it on a 145 approach to tops. 20 for the ball. Oh, so close to levelling this up after 10 legs. Dirk, to palm him off, needs tops. Just taking an extra look. Game and shot. that extra look worked 6-4 ahead, and he now only needs two more to get his first PDC ranking title at senior level. 59. You can see the reaction from Dirk there. He knows he dodged the bullet. Martin Clearmacker, we move the bull wire. 57. Dirk would love the cushion of a double break. If he can get one here, he'd throw for the match. 85. Clearmacker's job is to stay in touch. Keep it at one break and you've always got a chance. It feels like Dirk van Dijvenboer has been around for a very long time. 140. And he has been around for a while. But he has done great things in his career. He's hit nine daughters. A great 55. year last year, but ultimately, like you alluded to, Mark, until you get that win, you're just a person who's a very good dart player. We've talked about the likes of Crystal Reyes, Chris Dolby, and others about the fact that they haven't won a title yet. We had that same label put on the likes of Joe Cullen until they finally got their win. Jermaine 59 is a very tricky number to leave a finish, but... He's doing the right thing. 
59. Clear Macker looking to get within one again. He's chased all the way from, it went to all. 100. And chasing from there, 4-2, four, 4-3. Four, he stayed in touch. Got a chance to level and just missed the ball. 134. Single 20 for tops. And he game is shot. in touch again. How close can he get? As this game gets older, he is continuing to get within one. Now it's up to Dirk to make sure he gets the two-leg cushion back. This is following a pattern now, Mark. And this could be the key leg. 59. It's similar to the Andy Bolton Damon Hetter game. Andy Bolton, you felt, was just hanging on in, but made his move at the back end of the match and 100. came out winning. Clearmacker looking to do the same. And he will have felt less pressure than Dirk in this final. People expect Dirk to win a title this year. No disrespect to Martin. I don't think many people were tipping him to win a title. 60. He could do that here. I think if somebody has had a little flutter on Martin Clearmacher to win today, then they know something that a lot of people don't. But that 162 from Clearmacher sets up the possible Rob Cross 3 or 2. Or should we call it the Peter Wright 3 or 2? Because 100. he did it as well at the World Championship. Clearmacher, though, has been threatening a break. And he's threatening one here. Double 10. That Game is shot. the break, and that is six legs apiece. And we said if you stay in touch, you're only one break behind. You've got a chance. And Clearmacher now has the darts. There's only three legs remaining, and he's got the darts in two of them. What a chance for Martin. 100. Incredible. I mentioned Peter Wright. He goes and does exactly what Peter Wright did against Noel Malik then. That was a key thing for Peter Wright to win a world title. Could that be the key to Martin Clearmacher winning his first PDC title? 55. Swinging back Dirk's way now. This ain't going to be just as simple as Martin Clearmacher holding his throw twice. There's big pressure for different reasons. Dirk wants the first title, as does Martin, 55. but Martin wants to jump into those world match play spots. Dirk has been better on the 180s today by quite some distance. But now all of the statistics, all of the previous hits, all the previous misses, they mean absolutely nothing because we are going to the wire in this one. I can't get enough of it. And Dirk, who has missed a 128 in this match already, is going for another. And if Clearmacker 56 can hold here, he will have the lead for the first time. Tops. 91. The width of a wire and Dirk. Massive moment. 72. He's going to get one. Double 16 will be the dart. And he Get takes it. And you can hear the roar. And he fights off a 180 against the darts and breaks. He will now throw for the title. Just got to settle himself down. Big shot. Clearmack had a dart for 7-6. Instead, he's got to find yet another break. To keep himself in this final. Well, you and I have played in players' championship finals, Mark. And we are always told that we need to keep good order. Well, this is a final. There are no other games going on. So just let rip, lads. Let rip. 180. Well, heeded by Martin Clearmacher. Let's have two more blasters of legs. That 72 checkout from Dirk van Dijvenborder. Showing the passion of how much he wants 84. this win. And I don't mind that one little bit. Oh, you can't take that from the players. I know you've got to be respectful whenever the game's going on. But 59. like you said, Paul, it's the only game left. So show your emotion. And Dirk showed it there. Martin Clearmacher is keeping a lid on it at the minute, but knows he's got a chance 81. to work his way back into his final again. He's been broken twice already and found an answer. Can he find a third break here? And he'd have the darts 134. in the final leg. And he's got a shot at 128, regardless of what Dirk does here. It's going to be pressure, but how much? 93. Oh, good pressure. That last dart was key. Another 54 for double 10. 
Oh, and it misses by the width of a wire, and Dirk gets his first chance to win the title. Should be 419s. There's one of them. Oh, and he went a different route. Interesting. 56. Double five to take us all the way. Martine, width of a wire. I've sent us all the way. Got three more. Double five, tricky. Going the wrong way. And five he over pitches it, and Dirk's going to get more match darts. Well, I say his first lot of match darts. What a moment this, for Dirk. This is it. This is what you dream of to have darts for the title. Martin expects the loss, 20. but now we expect him to possibly take it to a 15th leg. Uh, Martin Clearback in the background was almost on his knees. This ain't, this ain't over yet. Five, one, double two. And misses Three, again. Four. Surely this time Van Dijvenbode will win his first ranking final. There's a bit of a smile across... The face of Dirk. Is he smiling? Yes, he is. He's won eight legs to six. He has got his first senior PDC ranking title. Dirk van Dijvenborder has had the pressure on his shoulders over the course of the last 18 months or so since he boomed his way through Q school. But the man who says boom all the time has now got himself a title and has definitely got a space at the world match play in Blackpool in the summer. Fantastic work from Dirk van Dijvenborder. We are going to sign off. Mark and I loved that final from the old Dutch players. Well, it's going to be Philip Brzezinski who interviews Dirk after he does a little post-mortem on this final. Really, really enjoyed that. But Philip, you take over after we see a nice, well-deserved hug for the two. Philip will speak to Dirk van Dijvenborder, the 85th person to win a PDC ranking title. Thanks for everything. We'll see you tomorrow. Dirk, congratulations, your first PDC senior title. It's been hard work, but you must be over the moon here. Yes. <laughs> I mean, you, you stayed in front for, for almost the entirety of that final, but my time was never going away. It was keeping it, keeping it tight. <coughs> no, I think I was, um, it, it felt that we were both nervous. But every time I thought I'm less nervous than him, and every time when I could finish it off, he was less nervous than me. It's the big finishes, he, I think it's 109 when I'm waiting, 140 when I'm waiting, and it, yeah. That's se that 72, uh, to keep your nose in front there, to make it mm -hmm. se seven, seven th six. Yeah. that was a massive moment, there was a lot of pressure on that double 16. Yes, it was, 100%, and I was like, oh, if you miss this, he probably makes eight six. And um, yeah, I didn't even go for trouble 20. I was like 20, 20 and hit the double 16. Favorite double of all time. I, I won a lot of things on it, but this was one like hit it now and then I hit it and I was so happy. From your seven matches today, I think five of them, there were only two legs in the end between you and, and your opponent. So the whole day men mentally must have been extremely challenging for you. No, it wasn't because um, I was in great form last two series and I thought I'd win the tournament. I didn't. I've made three quarterfinals in eight events and this weekend I didn't play well at all because in the other tournaments I only when I felt I played normal I never would go under 98 average and the last two days my highest average was 19.5. So I went in today like hopefully I win the first round and where in the other eight events I thought I win it and I went in Hopefully I make the, first, the second round and you win it. Well, when I played well, I didn't win it. So, so happy days. I mean, after your last year, you've been to the final of the, of the World Grand Prix, you've been to the quarterfinals of the world. How big is the relief to, to have that first title now, to get that out of the way relatively early in the, in the year? I can't imagine. In the youth, I played, I think, four or five finals. One match, I missed eight matches there to win the title. And I, never, I always thought it's easier to win it in the youth than in the men's. So I thought I will never win the title. <laughs> and now I won it. So, yeah, happy days, man. It's here, Dirk. It's here. So this, this first title, for a lot of players, when they look back in their career, they say, this first title that I won, that, that showed me, that proved to me that I can do it. And it kick-started kick everything. That could be a massive moment for you here, to, for, for the future. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't think I played my best game and I still won it so on the one side you think 
yeah, you can win it with uh, not your best game and the other side I think, oh, you have to play better, so we'll see. I don't, I don't think about titles, I, I always think about playing well, because if you play well, you do well eventually in the world rankings and yeah, eventually you want to be compete with the top guys and well, sometimes you have to win on a bad day, that's what I did today, I think, I'm not sure even, I'm not even sure what I played today, but yeah, eventually you want to, I, I always want to play well. And I don't think about winning, I just think about playing well, because then it, it all comes. And it certainly came today. Dirk, congratulations once again.